What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Guys, as you can see, we are currently 5-1 in this all-Madden second string season, trying to make it 6-1. Um, I'm playing, you know, much harder opponents than I have been, and in this game, I'm definitely going to play somebody that probably had the best team that I had gone up against up until this point. You guys are going to take a quick look at it here. A lot of 99s on this roster, some positional players, definitely some ultimate legends. Just a beastly team overall. Basically, every single player on his team was 95 or above, mostly 97 and above. And uh, yeah, we're going to kind of struggle against some of that in this game. I can't even lie to you guys. This is a fun game, though. It goes down to the wire. So make sure that you guys stick in and watch till the end in this one. My opponent's driving the ball down the field on this first drive here. A lot of short passes to his tight end. A lot of runs up the middle as well, which is something that I really don't see a whole lot of out of most people in this game. But he's going to try and go deep here on this very first drive. Goes into coverage. And Pat Pete just misses the ball. The streak touchdown. Shocking. I'm raging, obviously, right away, and then I'm going to throw this just awful pick. That wasn't even a bad decision, really. Uh, it should have been a, an easy three-yard, four-yard gain there to my running back, but for whatever reason, he just played it just terribly, or, or Vic just threw it just freaking terribly. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was pretty damn frustrating. I can't even lie. My opponent now in scoring position here, down at second and goal, and he's going to try and pass this thing in here. Jack Ham can't get the interception, though. Brings up a third and goal, and we're going to make a beautiful stop here. That's Luke Keekley making the stop, and he's going to try and go for it here on fourth down at about the two-yard line. Gets knocked back, and J.J. Watt makes the play. We are going to get out of this without allowing any points. Big play on defense. Huge play for them to step up there and not allow a touchdown. Could have easily been down 14 to nothing in this one, but we made some nice plays on the run. Now we're going to convert here with some short passes. Going to try and continue to run the football here. My opponent wanted to run a lot of cover three, and usually this counter run will work really well against cover three, as you see Trey Mason breaking off there for a beautiful gain. Uh, but, you know, there were times in this game where it worked really well and times where it didn't seem to work very well. Right here, I am going to throw into coverage. I wanted Vic to throw that up a little bit more than he did. Instead, he threw it kind of like a bullet, and it basically went right to him, to my opponent. So that kind of sucked. But on the very next play, he's going to try and go over the middle here, and it's not the right decision because Joe Hayden is going to come up with the interception here. That's team of the year, Joe Hayden. Nice pick, getting the ball back for my team. And now I'm on first and 10. I'm going to try and put some points on the board here. Jeremy Hill with a huge run, bringing it down to about the 23-yard line or so. A again, Big runs here when I try and hit those counters. And then the very next play we go with Rob Gronkowski for the touchdown. Massive, massive drive there for us to put up points. I was really struggling early in this one. Now my opponent's going to throw the ball up again into coverage. I thought that I intercepted that one with Patrick Peterson, but apparently not. Steve Smith is just murdering Patrick Peterson at this point in time. I don't know what's going on. Like, playing the streaks in this game is just so freaking ridiculously difficult. And I just wasn't able to do it that time. Basically gave my opponent a touchdown for the... I mean, obviously, he had to do a couple other plays. But the streaks in this game, man, it's just... He's basically scored twice off of streaks at this point. So I, I'm a little bit upset, I can't lie. Now it's third and two here, and I noticed that my opponent did commit on the run to the right there. I'm going to go for it on fourth down, and he committed on the run to the right again, but it just didn't matter. His defensive end basically came off unblocked there. I was going to try and take off with Vic, but fortunately, we did get the interception here with Antonio Camardi. Uh -oh, so again, alert. we don't allow a touchdown, despite the fact that we throw just awful interceptions like that one. Another interception. I am just beyond words at this point. Three interceptions thrown by me. I think two by my opponent. We're both just playing just terribly. And we get another interception here. I think that's three and three now for us between the two of us with interceptions. Just awful throwing of the football in this one. But I'm going to try and play a little bit more conservatively for the rest of this game. But with 25 seconds left, I feel like I have to go for it here on fourth down. He commits on the run again and somehow... His players make a play on the football. That's the second time he committed to the wrong side of the field and his players stepped up to make a play. Unbelievable. I, I just couldn't believe it at that point. But thankfully, he decided to go for it there with seven seconds left and he didn't have any timeouts. Or if he did, I guess I didn't pay attention. But um, he went down at the two-yard line. The clock ran out. So he did not end up getting any points out of that drive. So he's made two fourth down stops, forced three interceptions in this game, and still... 
he's committing on the wrong side of the field and making plays. This time, I'm finally going to make him pay for it with Gronkowski. I know I, I typically don't go, it on, go for it on all these fourth downs, but when I see guys making these terrible decisions like committing on to the right or committing on the run, I feel like I have to go for it because eventually I'm going to make him pay, right? But unfortunately here, third and 17, we take a sack. I did end up punting this time because it was fourth and long. Missed that interception by Keekly, and now he's going to continue to run the football here. Um, it's it's really, really tough when uh, you're struggling so much on offense because even when you feel like you're doing well on defense, it just throws off everything in your game. And I was struggling so much in this game. This guy wasn't doing anything special at all. And finally, we get a user pick. Gotcha, bitch. Luke Keekly comes up with the fourth pick of this game. Third quarter, a minute 12 left, and oh, we just can't get this running game to work consistently for us. We're getting about five yards per carry, which isn't terrible, but right here, we need to pick up more yardage. So it sets us up with a third and 15. I'm going to try and throw this one up, and I, of course, despite the fact of having a six foot three receiver, cannot make the catch. Ugh, just, it's so frustrating. I, I, for some reason, cannot catch streaks. But everyone else just throws those some bitches up against my corners, and we can't do a damn thing against it. So, uh, it's just, it's heartbreaking almost when you see that kind of stuff happen. My opponent now continuing to move the football here. He is running out some clock as well during this during this drive and he's going to throw this one to a tight end that tight end crossing route is very very difficult to defend you almost have to see it coming in order to be able to defend it and he's going to throw this one into coverage one more time i believe that's the fifth interception i've gotten in this game and i still only have seven points his players were playing just freaking out of control in this game it, it's just uh and i was playing so poorly as well i really can't even deny it this is one of the worst games that i played offensively in forever defensively i felt like i played really really well but fourth and inches here this is obviously a massive play and he's gonna throw or he's gonna try and commit on the run again and this time we finally make him pay probably could have thrown that one up for alshon jeffrey and gotten a touchdown but still we end up getting a huge gain there to luke wilson two minutes and 50 seconds left in this game waiting 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 finding rob gronkowski going over the middle again take a big hit thankfully we didn't fumble there i was i was a little bit worried when that happened he commits on the run again and again we convert on a pass but unfortunately gronk or uh, alshon went out of bounds but we did get into the end zone the very next play there with calvin johnson so we have a tie football game here with about two minutes left all we have to do is make a stop here third and two we make a beautiful play with Ndamukong Su. Brings up a fourth down, and I feel like he's going to run again. I feel like it. Oh, Aiden, you make that tackle, the game's over, pimp. Oh, my goodness. The fact that he missed that tackle, and I know he's a corner, and he misses another tackle there, and he made a pick earlier in the game, but oh, my gosh, dude. You, you just, you can't, you can't have that happen. Hayden again drops another pick. Third and one now. We have to make the stop here. Have to. Oh my gosh, give me that interception, please, please. That's Jack Ham, guys, and it's fourth down. He goes for it again, decides to run an option with Tom Brady and converts. Guys, I am just raging at this point. Throws it into coverage again, and we don't get another interception. I, I kind of played that one not great when the ball was in the air, but, I mean, my guy was right there, and he just decided to throw it into coverage again. Second and one, picks up another first down. Now watch this. J.J. Watt just walks off sides and stands there. For no reason, standing off sides. What is happening? EA, please fix your game, please. Oh my goodness, dude. I couldn't believe the way that he was driving down the field here. This is probably one of the most unlucky drives I've ever seen as I miss a tackle there. That was completely my fault. But still, I, I mean, I've, I've just got freaking adrenaline rushing through my brain right now. Just, I, I can't freaking handle how ridiculously unlucky I've been that drive. But... He's going to go for a kick here, and fortunately, we get the ball. We catch it with Gronkowski. We've got good field position. Vic can absolutely throw this thing 55 yards. Absolutely. We've got a chance here, guys. All we have to do is catch one streak once. we got amazing blocking here all the time in the world. Vic's going to put this one up. Three receivers there. Oh, I thought Jordy Nelson had that. I thought he had it, guys. When I made that pass and it got that animation, I thought for sure I was coming up with it. Ugh, unfortunately, we are going to take a loss in this game. Oh, man, I, I just can't believe how poorly I played on offense in this game. But uh, it was still a fun game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, 
please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, if you are new to the channel, it would help me so much if you guys would subscribe and uh, press that like button because that's how the, the videos show up better in the search engine on YouTube. So if you guys would help me out with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you again. Sorry for the loss. I mean, I wish I could have played better for you guys. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy it. And uh, with that being said, guys, we're going to try and get to back to the winning side of the football in this next one. See you guys tomorrow for another head-to-head -head seasons game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.